Chelsea are looking really strong this year, aren't they? The addition of Fabregas and Costas, has that made them genuine title contenders, do you think? I, th I believe it has, you know, that, that Costa is, a, to me, he's a Premier Division centre-forward. He's, he's an English-style centre-forward and uh, the addition of Fabregas in midfield is uh, the two signings they, they brought in, I think, were the best two, the best money spent in transfer window. So, uh, you know, they are looking strong and, and Courtois coming in goal ahead of Czech. You know, he knows he's got him behind him, so he's got to be performing every week. Yeah, I mean, Courtois was getting rave reviews in Spain and Peter Czech's a big name to replace, but he seems to be unfazed by it. I think, I think it was the time to bring him back. You know, like you say, he's just won the Champions League, so he's, he's played at the very highest level. Um, you know, Czech has, has been, his performances over the, you know, all his time at Chelsea has been phenomenal. Uh, but like you say, you've probably got to start looking to the future and Courtois is the future of Chelsea. You think it's hard for Peter Czech to take that he's now going to be number two? Very hard. You know, once you're used to being a first choice keeper, uh, you want to be first choice keeper. And, um, you know, he's not going to move now to the next transfer window, but um, I think he's biding his time to say, well, if there are any hiccups, I'm here. But I couldn't see uh, Petr Cech wanting to sit on the bench for too long. And Courtois, can you see him really developing as one of the best in the world? Yeah, I, th I think, uh, like I say, he's, he's played at the very highest level. He's a young lad still, but he's, he's got that experience. He's got the size and you can see that, you know, he's, he's, he, I, I look at him as an English style keeper because he, ca he commands his box. He wants to come for ball. You know, he's six foot four, six foot five. So uh, he's got everything. And back to Costa, he's hit the ground running, he's scoring goals, he puts himself about, he'd be a nightmare for a keeper, wouldn't he? I mean, you've seen the, the ability he's got, you know, he's, he's uh, he scored goals in the 18-yard box, you know, but we've seen him uh, abroad, at how he can finish from distance, but um, he's a natural goal scorer, left foot, right foot, he puts the ball where it's got to go, in the back of the net. Do you think it's a straight run between City and Chelsea, or do you think Arsenal, Liverpool, United might come into it? Well, you know, you, you don't rule teams out this, this early stage of the season, but, you know, it does does look like Chelsea and City are the, are the, the contenders, the big contenders, but um, you know, Arsenal have, have bought well, you know, I think the addition of Welbeck was vital for, uh, for Arsene Wenger, you know, the fact that Giroud's out for a long period of time, they've got, they've got a, a, a more than a handy replacement. And just a quick word on England, big game tomorrow in Switzerland and uh, obviously Joe Hart's come right back into form, isn't he, after that wobble he had maybe a year or so ago? Yeah, you know, like, as a goalkeeper, you know, sometimes to be taken out of the, uh, the front line and Joe's been there for a long time, you know, he's been in the, in the, the news as such uh, for a long period of time and, and I think he, he, he learnt from stepping back and having a, a little time to, to look at the game and maybe assess his performances. I think he's... Uh, He's grown in stature from it, and I think his performances to the latter stage of last season just uh, emulate that. And he's now going to be one of the senior players because that squad, it's a young squad, and it's probably going to get... Not, some of the old stages are, are sort of retired, so he's now one of the senior pros, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, you're going to be looking to the... You know, you know, they were talking of it being out of Joe Hart and Rooney for the captaincy. We know where it's gone. Um, but, yeah, we, we do look at the experienced boys to, to guide the other lads. But, you know, the young boys that are there, they're going to be there on merit and they're going to be the future of, of England. So, you know, you've got to put them in there and you've got to, you've got to trust them and, and rely on them and, and stick with them.